All right, so the first question I have for you is, how do you think your presentation went today? Well, I think my presentation actually went a little worse than I expected because I forgot everything that was on our slides and I just I just winged it the whole time. So. Well, was there anything that you maybe left out that you'd like to share with us now? Um, well, really just the fact that my mentor has been really cool and patient about everything, especially because all the text on my screen was super small and I couldn't see most of it. So she was like, okay, no, it's you're warmer, you're getting there. So it was just a blast to hang out <laughs> with her. That's awesome. Um, is there anything like in particular that you thought was like, fun or cool or interesting or that you're really proud of that you came across in this project? Well, I'm really proud of all of the coding that we got done because I was expecting, okay, we're not going to get that much done, but we're going to kind of ease into it a bit and just see where we go. But we basically got most of the app done, just the basic coding of it and getting things to work and move between screens. So honestly, I'm really proud of just how that went out. Yeah, for sure. Um, I also thought like the topic of your app was really cool. Um, it's kind of a little bit meta to do like uh, an app about STEM careers when you're being partnered with like someone in a STEM career. Um, so what kind of inspired you to do that kind of project? Well, actually in STARS for our entrepreneurial project, um, we had we decided to make a business where it was like a um, a uh, a monthly subscription box mm -hmm. that was like every month you'd get a box for it would be like for middle schoolers and high schoolers where they would get a box that is tailored to their interests and it's a job that we think they would be interested in and actually our first box that we did for our presentation in that class was a marine biologist because my mentor is actually a marine biologist herself oh awesome so we had the resources and we used them basically yeah um, so in terms of that project, I know that's not like specifically your Google Magic project, but like it has, they're combined in mm -hmm. some ways. Um, where do you see you going in the next year with that project? Like, do you see you taking any more steps to making that a reality? Well, we didn't actually get funded. We didn't win the competition mm -hmm. that we were put into for that project. So we don't really see this going anywhere further, but I really hope to continue coding this app and making it an actual functional app because it's just good to have that experience. Okay, awesome. Um, so hopefully we'll come up with some kind of ways to like make this happen. Um, do you have any words of advice for anyone doing a similar project or anyone um, going into a mentorship? Um, really, it's just all about like patience. Like your mentor, she has a life of her own or whoever. You have your life of your own. You just need to plan it accordingly and keep up to date with what you're supposed to do in between. So. Awesome. Well, thanks for that. Um, we have a certificate of appreciation for you. Um, this just says, thank you for all that you've done through the program. It's signed by Ira, who you met um, when we did our Austin meetup. And we hope to see many more great things from you. Thank you. Thank you.